carrier is called the Little Life Traveller and it's a convertible carrier. It's a framed carrier but also a rucksack. So it's got a secret hidden compartment inside that when we've got tired little legs we can open up and put babies and toddlers inside. So with your little life traveller, when your little one's got tired little legs, you take down your rucksack from your back, you have a storage compartment for all of your things on the outside of the carrier, but when we turn it around and open up the zip compartment that's closest to your back, it will open on a hinge to reveal a seat for the child. So there are a few features in this seat. You have an adjustable ride height so that you can lower the seat for older, taller children or make it higher up for younger babies. You have a pad here, which is a face pad that your child can comfortably rest uh, on if they're tired. Equally, you can take that off for washing. You have a five point harness inside the body of the carrier, which will click with the orange piece in between baby's knees and the two gray pieces at the sides of the carrier here, just coming over the leg to hold the child securely in place. It's best to do the mo motion of putting the child in, either with your carrier on the floor or already secured onto the back of another adult. If there's two adults with you, one can do the carrying and one can do the putting in and out. So that's a useful tip. When you're ready to put the child in, we turn their face towards the cushion where they might rest and we slide them in from the top. So one leg sits at either side of the carrier, carefully coming out at the bottom until they're sitting inside the carrier nice and securely. You're going to find that five point harness and it comes firstly over the child's head and you can find the orange piece and click it in between your baby's knees into the carrier just there listening for the click. The grey straps come to the side of the carrier just there again listen for the click and you can tighten it up to hold your child in nice and securely. We'll do exactly the same on the other side, exactly the same grey strap positioned in the same area. It's really important that you remember to close the sides of the carrier just here, otherwise your child's going to be quite far from your centre of gravity and it's unlikely to feel comfortable for you. So we're going to close the carrier up, we're going to use these straps to hold it in place, closing that cockpit to make sure your child's nice and secure inside there. Do it on both sides, there we go. So you can see now we have a secured carrier uh, of the right height so your child can rest and a nice snug fit so your child's nice and close to your centre of gravity. You can use the two handles on top of the carrier to move the carrier around or to lift it up onto your back. So from the ground what we would do is holding onto the handle in front of your baby's face with your dominant hand and taking your non-dominant hand underneath to the opposite strap. So I'm right-handed, right hand on the handle, left hand underneath, holding the strap that's going to go onto my left shoulder, up and around onto the back, moving the carrier across, swapping hands, holding the handle nice and securely, meeting my thumb with my fingers and manoeuvring the carrier around so I can put the other strap up onto my back as well. Go. Once we're in, we can start to arrange things for the carrying adult. So that waistband sometimes gets caught up in between your bodies, so you can bring it around to a level that suits you. Click it together and you tighten by pulling straight forward on those straps. Loosen by pulling outwards. There's two little buckles, one on either side, and, loose, and tighten by pulling forwards. You have two adjusters that work just here that can change the height for you. So if these straps are too long, you're going to start seeing daylight between your bodies. It's not going to be comfortable for the carrying adult. So we're going to bring the carrier nice and snug towards the torso and tighten by pulling back towards the baby's knees. You also have a chest strap and it's really important to know that your chest strap moves up and down on there. So if you want it down lower, you can move it down the runners in the center of the straps. But equally, if you want it higher, you can move it up before clicking, which will increase your comfort. A carrier like this one can be a really useful choice if you're out and about and you just need something for occasionally when your baby's tired and needs to go up onto your back. 